I love to skateboard. When I lived in Alaska, I would skate to work. I moved to Alaska because I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I kind of wanted to explore, but one night I found myself at the edge of a bridge, ready to jump. I felt like I had no purpose. I didn't know what life was really all about. My favorite thing about Dimo is how caring he is. When you lose so much, it's hard to find the light. I started a business with a friend who became like a brother, and things went wrong in a bad financial deal he got us involved with. I found myself in a place where I was telling God, why do this to my family, just do it to me. I really felt like we're at a standstill and just felt stuck. I knew from a young age that I wanted to help people. I'm trained as a registered nurse, but I was diagnosed with melanoma and an inoperable lesion on my hypothalamus. I remember thinking that I wanted to live long enough for my kids to remember me. When I responded to a time of prayer during a Sunday service, I was feeling the arrows of the enemy coming at me from finances to relationships and my health. I came back to Santa Clarita. I saw a sign for higher vision. And that was one of the first times God spoke to me. His grace helped me see the light. And that was eight years ago. And now I found my purpose here. Money cannot buy the peace that we have now. And I'm being equipped for my family ministry and whatever future ministry God may have in store for us. When I felt the most unqualified, God qualified me and started using me. He ransomed me from my dark place. His grace has set me free. Leilani Ingle prayed for me and laid her hand on my forehead where the growth was. Within days, the tumor had fallen off. My friend called me to see if I'd gotten my biopsy, but I couldn't, there was nothing there. Jesus broke the chains of skin cancer off of me, and each scar on my face reminds me of His grace. The enemy has his plans but God's plans for me are greater. I'm humbled that God would do a miracle for me.